finding out that she was really, truly a miraculous child of God. Um, and so, whenever I tell people the book of God or they have read it and um, know what it's about, they come to me and they ask me if it's autobiographical with my story. And the answer is no, this is a fiction novel. It is not in any way my story, but um, there are definitely pieces of me in here. I grew up in, a, I did grow up in a town very similar to Barnaby in here. Um, in fact, the town's based on the town I grew up in. But I grew up in an incredibly loving home. My parents were the most beautiful people in the world. And, um, but I did, one of the pieces of Mara that's in here that I really relate to, and took a piece of myself and put it in here, is the abuse that she goes through in high school. Because high school was really, really a hard, hard thing for me. Um, I know that some of you are probably having the time of your life and it's so much fun, but that was not my experience. I, I was just, I was not a wonderful kid at all. And um, I think high school is a really hard time. I mean, you have so much pressure on you to be everything but what you really are, right? I mean, everything you are seems wrong. If you're, if you're too tall or too short or too fat or too skinny, too smart, too dumb. Like, so many things are working together to make you feel like what you are is exactly the wrong thing. And every time you look at the front of a magazine, you see an airbrushed face that doesn't even exist in the real world, but they photoshopped it, telling you that's what you without Photoshop are supposed to look like, and men aren't allowed to cry, and you know, there are all of these things that are saying exactly what you are is broken. And um, I felt that pressure immensely in high school. I was a really, really smart kid. I loved reading, I loved books. I was painfully shy. I was not going to make any friends. Um, but I, as a little girl, I had a pretty big vocabulary because I read all the time. So the kids in school would make fun of me for all the big words I used. And that day that I was showing off, I wasn't showing off, I just that was off. Oh. So I just stopped talking altogether. And then um, as I got into high school, um, I started looking around. I used to cry when I was in elementary school when I was 99. So um, and I realized in high school, I don't have any friends. So I decided I was going to try to be cool. Um, some of the things I did to be cool were memorize poems. And it's like, at the lunch table. Now, that I was immediately popular. I was probably, you know, it was not. And um, the other thing that I did was try to get a B in chemistry because I thought, oh, well, my problem is my straight A, so I'm going to get a B and then it's going to get out of school. So I messed up a couple of answers on the chemistry test on purpose without being even know that he thought I was cool. And um, it was really curvy. I, I developed really early, and everybody decided I was a slut, even though I had no friends. I don't know how I was a slut because I things about you, a lot of the times you hear these ugly things instead of the nice things. So there are these 